so today is in fact a pretty, uh, it's a pretty gloomy day. tell I'm actually driving and I'm driving and I'm focusing on the road and not the camera because I don't want to get in a car accident. Uh, but I want to talk to you a little bit about Toys R Us and sort of my connection to Toys R Us. I wanted to go today because I got off work a little bit early. I work full time so I don't generally have a lot of chances to visit Toys R Us uh, and I wanted to visit sort of my little piece of Toys R Us, my, my impact on Toys R Us that I've left over the past year or so. So about six months ago, I want to say maybe maybe six to eight months ago, uh, the company Bluefin Distribution, they were reaching out for people who were toy enthusiasts. They were looking for help to build certain displays. Uh, and I was available for the weekend. I offered uh, amongst, you know, among other people, to dedicate two to three days to help build these displays. That would, uh, we didn't know at the time, but we didn't actually find out until we were halfway through the project that these were actually going to Toys R Us and they were gonna be on display to sort of promote SH Figure Arts and that Toys R Us was gonna be carrying SH Figure Arts uh, at their locations, you know, the actual imported action figures from Japan. Uh, so they wanted these elaborate kind of elaborate displays, but they were very high-end, very glossy displays, 300 of them, to go to all of their highest traffic stores. Uh, so naturally, what started out as a two to three day project, uh, <laughs> and it was very, very drastically underestimated just how long this project would take, ended up being about a month. Uh, and it was a month where I was there Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So it was a big project, uh, but it was a lot of fun, and I met a lot of really great people. What started out as a team of 10 quickly in the first week died down to sort of this core team of five that sh showed up day after day after day, and we just cranked these things out. Um, so I only know of one display that we built, uh, so... I wanted to go down to Toys R Us and to just pay a visit and a potential final goodbye because it's sad because of this this took a month out of my life and it's it was such an amazing project. So I went through, I discovered, and I went to say hi to my display, and this is actually the display that we built. So there are, uh, I don't know how much I can actually say um, about it. I know there's 300 of them in total. It was a fun project. It was something that I will honestly never forget. And I'm I'm hoping these displays at least had some sort of impact on someone when they visited Toys R Us and they thought that, wow, this is really cool because that would mean a lot to me, knowing that they saw that. Uh, and it, it was an incredible team of people. It wasn't just me, it was, you know, Ronald and Nick and Tyler. And, uh, uh, so yeah, visiting this display was bittersweet on this sort of gloomy, gloomy, gloomy week. Um, I also visited another Toys R Us that was kind of, that was in kind of the opposite direction. I visited this store on Saturday morning. You would think that on a Saturday morning that this place would be packed, uh, but it wasn't. It was actually dead. Thank you. 
day at this Toys R Us that I went to, where I'm sharing my story from that has the Tamashii Nations display, uh, I bought the Tamashii Nations Green Ranger and Megazord uh, Tamashii Buddy. And if you haven't gotten them already, if you've gotten Pink, Red, and Zed, I would highly recommend getting uh, the Megazord and the Green Ranger sooner than later, because those two are in fact Toys R Us exclusive. Anyway, I just wanted to share that experience with you. It was interesting, right? Wasn't it interesting? Uh, what are your memories of Toys R Us? Let me know in the comments down below. I know a lot of toy collectors have had some pretty bad experiences with Toys R Us, but at the same time, I'm sure many of us have many memories at Toys R Us. And I know I certainly do. Uh, so, again, let me know in the comments down below. What are your memories of Toys R Us? And uh, Let's... Uh, just pay a moment of silence for this, uh, this, this end of an era. God damn it, there's something in my eye.